Hey you guys, welcome to another episode of this on our show. Dang, here are everywhere. But anyway, I've been looking at the NBA playoffs and completely and utterly off right now. Like seriously, that's why I'm so behind in some of my reviews. A few of them are gonna be with Jonathan. Some will be by myself, so hey. But anyway, Baruto. This you know, to be honest with you, I kinda like him Baruto. I like I like the patience and I like, you know, the involvement of all the other characters. It's a little lighthearted, you know, it's just an anime original. And as you build up a whole lot of characters seeing what we could uh, what the new generation could possibly do. Now, this episode about Metal Lee, with him being badass like Rock Lee, but he's always get nervous and he just get thrown off through before that he do get nervous. And you know, uh Sick of Die was just saying, you know, just making fun of him or whatever, being a complete prick. And he realized that um, he shouldn't have did that. And this darkness that keep taking away by Tickle and Matt. Matta and um, Baruto at least his what appeared to be his King Sagan. So, yeah, we get up to the point that he just keeps showing that damn eye. Let me close the computer, keep making doors. He keep, um, he just basically just keep opening up and I mean, at least in that eye, he kind of um, gets like knowledge from his mom, like, yo, be off guy. And, you know, it, um, yeah, like, yes, you can see through things, you see chocolate and stuff like that. But he was about to actually get more into it, ask for a little bit more questions about it. Because what he's doing is not a damn be guy. So, yeah, I can't wait to see exactly what it is. It looked like a Tensei gun, though. It does. Um... But yeah, so far, pretty it's a pretty interesting series. Naruto, we see why he don't he get mad at Naruto because he always tired, he worked too much, so he never had time for his family. So that can actually play a big part of kids. I know how some people look like, oh, Baruto got both parents. Why the little prick actually uh complain about this when Naruto was born when I mean, he was born when he was born, both his parents died. So what do Baruto have to whine about? where he is forcing it and Naruto was unforcing it. So yeah, I understand exactly where everybody coming from with it, but you gotta actually look at it like this kid don't have his dad around. He just want his dad. Sometimes we actually have parents that they're just not around. It's just like being with it like basically a rich kid for instance. You your dad always on business trips, working and doing all this other shit. Your basketball player um, kids, and you always traveling and shit. You barely see your dad. You're like God damn, every time I see you, you sleep. And then you gone when I really need you. So yeah, it can't play a big um, part of a kid life though. If you're not technically always there, but he doing this for the greater good of the village. So hopefully Baruto will get out of it. Well, he did get out of it near the movie, but he's still a little prick though. But anyway. Tell you guys, thank, make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. I'm out of here. Peace.